Are we on? Are we on? Hey, everybody! Welcome to Talking Mayhem Mania. It's your pal in the mainstream media. Um, I'll, I'll deal with you in a minute. Um, <laughs> joining me this week, my special co host is uh, Mad Mike from Pooh Kipsy, New York. Hey, Mike, what's uh, happening? Hi, Matt. Uh, this week's Mayhem Mania, I gotta say, not the best. Not the best. Not and let me best. tell you, um, we had uh, five um, moves of uh, varying quality. Um, which one uh, kind of um, made you m most upset? Um, the, the removal of Shinsuke Nakamura. I mean, come on. Bert come hates on. Shinsuke, and it was a preemptive killing of Shinsuke's match to appease Bert. Yeah, yeah I, I mean... Uh... We we got we got push. we got to have Shinsuke on our Mayhem Mania card. We have to have that. That he he's he's the king of strong style. We need to have a strong Mayhem card. It, it's just ridiculous. We we have to have Shinsuke Nakamura on the Mayhem Mania card. Well, we'll we see. Maybe someone will come in and pick up the ball. Hey, speaking of terrible moves, um, joining us is uh, Larry. Hey, Larry, how you All doing? Right. How are you doing? <laughs> so, Larry, hmm, let's take a look here. Um, this week, your move. Um, not only did you incite, um, indeed, you um, you tempted fate. You are potentially drawing the ire of Dan Hooven by killing his precious Ryback versus Kurt Angle match. I'm sorry, that was a terrible match. You replaced it with you you have you have booked a squash match for Mayhem Mania: Braun Strowman versus James Ellsworth. It it, it was a preemptive strike. <laughs> um, I had to I had to. Save the integrity of a Kurt Angle match and get Ryback <laughs> out of there, um, while at the same time having to put something in its place that I hope will be changed someday, or not. In yeah. which case, hell, we'll see James Ellsworth either pull off an astounding win out of his ass or get the shit beat out of him. <laughs> Matt, Matt, I, yeah. I, I would like to go on record, yeah, right now. And say that if I am fortunate enough to be on Mayhem Mania next week, that match is going away. <gasps> it's not looking good. That um, match is going away. Okay. Uh, but I would just like to point out Carmel's worth. It's my favorite thing. So I agree. Carmel's worth. It's fun to say. Um, He's okay. the new big cast. <laughs> <laughs> He's little he? cast. Um, He's little cast. <laughs> We'll just um, call him Cassie. He's, no, he's big Cass he's Cassio. Anova. Cassio. Hmm? What? Casanova. Casanova, yeah. Yeah. Um, now during uh the Wrestling Mayhem show, I promised that I would uh reveal who I think, since I am an expert on these things, um, who I think is the MVP among the um among the players in Mayhem Mania um this uh this year. And um, I, I also want to point out that, that there, is, um, there is a higher level of competition in Mayhem Mania that perhaps is not always evident, but there are people who play, who play this game well. Um, but I think the person who's played the game the best so far this year, um, I think it's been Bobby F.J. Town, to be honest with you. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you about this devious move that Bobby F.J. Town made last week that perhaps uh, flew a little bit under the radar. But not even I quite realized what he was up to until I was actually compiling all the data um, later on in the week. See, that's how complicated this whole thing is. You got to like take a look at it and break it down and 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 calculus this thing and and, and make it apparent so that you realize, oh my God, Bobby F J Town's on another level. What he did, a lot of people like to swap a guy out and they swap him back in, and that's cool because you you know create a match. But I'm telling you, the money move is to swap a guy for another guy inside of the card because then you end up getting credit for creating both matches when you swap guys inside the card. So when Bobby swapped, Bobby swapped Nakamura for um, Balor, right? He ended mm -hmm. up creating two matches. Now, it's kind of, you know, water under the bridge at this point because Nakamura's match got killed um, but and, and recreated with Bobby Roode. But I, you know what? I, I, I like that. And I just wanted to point that out because, um, you know, we don't see people trade guys inside of the card too often, but I just wanted to make it a reveal to everyone the the very high benefit of doing that you give yourself basically an extra created match and the more matches you create the i thought you were conceivably the more potential you have to you know get a match to graduate and then you get prizes and punishment hmm. i thought you weren't allowed to switch uh people that were already in there well you see what you what bobby did is he took what was it was Finn Balor versus Hideo Itami. It was Styles versus Nakamura. Right. He swapped Balor for Nakamura. 
So Balor went up into the Styles match. Nakamura right. went down to the Tommy match. So yes, a totally legit move. Um, I'll remember under that the for next uh, week. under the rules of Mayhem Mania. An important one to point out, and like I said, very very well played by Bobby. Um, don't you agree, Mike? Um, I, you know, there, there's something to be said for for um, ter- making taking lemons and making lemonade. There's also something to be said for being Triple H, being both a creator and a destroyer. You are the creator. Night, now you baited me, Rollins. Um, do, do, do you want me? Do you want me to do? See, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, yeah. It, well, you saw it. NXT was the creator, but now I will be the destroyer, Rollins. Sting. Um. Okay, we're Sting. gonna carry it away. Sting. Um. <laughs> Larry, who do you think will be the next tag team to get added to this? Um. Super All Star Tag Team match with uh, Alpha and the Kings of Wrestling and the Revival. There's someone's coming in with another tag team for this match. I'm going to be like, you know, we, we need one no, more. We, Four's a nice number. We have to follow the injury protocol list and yes. all that stuff too. No TM six one. I was going to say no hype bros. But. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe maybe hmm. you could take Mojo and the leftover guy from TM six one. You could put them or in a tag could, team, or you could put Mojo and his major brother Kurt Hawkins. Nah. Oh, is that a possibility? Oh, we could do Why that. Not? You, you know, know what? what? They could just dress up Kurt Hawkins and just not I'm even gonna... tell anybody that Zack Ryder got hurt, and people would fall for that. They would totally buy that, right? We fell for it. We thought they were twins. I'm going to take... <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas. Yeah? Yeah. Just because that, that, that was an interesting uh, match that he said earlier today, and... I don't know. I'd like to see them tag tag team. I don't know. There might be something neat. The Wyatt family doesn't need a new member. No, they don't really have any members right now, though. They are kind of whittling down to nothing again. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, Randy Brent's doesn't Roman even back. have a beard. For real, Randy. <laughs> he's been and he's Randy been had... trying to grow it for like five months. I don't Nothing's think he happening. can grow hair. Yeah, it's weird. He's just stuck. It's it like, like it's stubble. like I think that's what that's what he sold to the devil for his natural abil- wrestling ability. <laughs> Mike, hey, anything you know else? If I can, if, if I can grow a better beard than Randy Orton, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that trade off. Excellent. Um, let's see what. Um, hey, hey, Wicket, Wicket. Oh, it's dog's left. taking the night off. All right, yeah. never mind. I was yeah. gonna ask Wicket, Wicket's favorite match. All right, um, Mike, thank you for joining us this week. Uh, thank, thank you for having me, Matt. And, Larry, and I look forward to fixing every horrible move that was done this week well you can't you can only fix one at a time that's part of the fun larry yeah, thanks for um making braun Strowman versus james ellsworth you've done a great service to this card <laughs> i gotta give mike some work for next week i'm creating i'm creating jobs larry's the creator <laughs> mike is the destroyer get it all right all right until next time i'm your pal on the mainstream media and stay mayhemmy and check out wrestlingmayhemshow.com to stay up to the minute on mayhem mania Mwah, i love you